You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. We are in the studio with wonderful students from St. Paul Lutheran High School in Concordia, Missouri this morning. So excited. Uh, they came to visit us. We're recording, actually, with them mm-hmm. on Monday. If you didn't get to catch chapel on Monday, you so miss- sorry. You missed out. Yeah. It was fantastic. It was um, just magnificent music. Um, St. Paul Lutheran High School has a wonderful tradition, a long history of making wonderful music. And so we're so excited to have students with us in studio today. We have Anika in studio with us. Good morning, Anika. Good morning. And we also have Josiah. Good morning, Josiah. Good morning. And Daniela. Good morning. And Dr. Jerody Marsh. Good morning. So excited to finally meet you in person. We've been talking for years <laughs> on the phone, right. online. I didn't recognize you. I had no idea who I was looking for. <laughs> so nice to finally meet you in person and to have the Singing Saints with us here today to uh, share wonderful music with us in chapel. So today uh, is our first day meeting with students during National Lutheran Schools Week, which we love doing every year. We get to meet in person this year, which is so exciting. <laughs> so we want to learn about you. Um, Anika, why did your family choose St. Paul Lutheran? in high school for you? Well, we learned about it originally because um, Dr. Marsh is actually my godmother. Hey, um, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> so in addition to that, it was also just the entirety of the music program that sort of drew me to the school. They did a um, tour in Europe, I think in 2016? 18, 2018. 18? Wonderful. We did a European tour. Um, and they came to my home church and I saw them and it was just such an experience. It just... I mean, the entire choir, the singing, it just drew me in. So that made me um, ask my mom if I could come here. And then eventually we did. So you mentioned a European tour and home church. What does that mean for you and where you're from? Well, I'm from Germany originally. I was born there. And my home church is um, Trinity Lutheran Church in Frankfurt. Nice. So they came there because um, Dr. Marsh also went went there for a couple of years uh, when she <laughs> lived in Germany. So that was just sort of an amazing experience to have Hire people there and also host people as a homestay and now it's reverse so yeah <laughs> very cool homestays are a great part of choir tour uh josiah what about you um it kind of was a big decision for my parents uh my parents are david and valerie federwitz and they work with uh, lutheran bible translators and they had a move back in about 2014 uh, from aurora illinois to the campus of saint paul lutheran high school And so they decided that it was a good place for me to be connected to. And if I had any trouble there, I could rely on some of the staff at LBT um, just to host me for meals or have me stay at their house for a couple nights. So my older sister actually went there before I did. And my parents talked with her and asked her whether she thought it was a good place for me to come to or whether I should continue homeschooling and through high school. And she spoke really highly of it, so that's why I'm at St. Paul right now. Daniela? Um, <clears throat> so my parents wanted to send me like through the world, mm-hmm. so they wanted me to experience like new culture and meet new friends and stuff like that. And um, basically they wanted to... Uh, uh, they wanted to grow me in my Christian faith uh, and they just wanted to, um, I don't know. They wanted me to, um, <laughs> sorry. I don't know. <laughs> experience new things? Yeah, they wanted me to experience new things and meet new people and like become independent. And they heard about St. Paul and they heard that it's a great school uh, with Christian programs. So they wanted me to learn more about God and have better relationship with him. Mm-hmm. Now your parents wanted you to see the world. Does that yeah. mean you're not yeah. from Concordia, Missouri? <laughs> yeah. She's from Slovakia. Yeah. Slovakia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you mentioned your parents wanted you to learn about Jesus. When do you get to learn about Jesus during your school day? I get to learn about Jesus every day. We have religion classes every day. Also, we have uh, chapels three times a week. And uh, every Sunday I go to uh, St. Paul Lutheran Church in Concordia, so there as well. Anika, tell us about when you learn about Jesus, When how is Christ a part of your education at St. Paul? Well, of course, the religion classes are a big part of that, as Daniela said. Um, other than that, it's just an overall amazing Christian attitude um, throughout the school day. The teachers really try and help you however you can and try to be as selfless as possible in the education that they give you. So whenever you have a question, there's 
hardly any doubt or anxiety or whatever um, to go ask them. So it's just a really fantastic environment. It's just it's a beautiful Christian environment to be in. Mm-hmm. Josiah, do you have anything to add? Yeah, um, like Annika and Danielle said, we have religion classes that we learn about that stuff. Um, in chapel, we have pastors from the area that come in, from the surrounding uh, little <coughs> small towns around Concordia <laughs> that come in and do chapel sometimes. Um, one uh, tradition that I thought every homeroom did until I visited a couple homerooms is that uh, before we leave from our homeroom to continue the rest of the day, uh, my homeroom teacher normally prays over like the whole day and our attitude, and I think that's really great. That is really great. So what is one thing that you're learning at St. Paul that you think will be really beneficial for you um, after you move on from St. Paul? Um, definitely the education is important to continue in the world, but uh, something else that uh, sometimes we get pounded into our heads is, uh, <laughs> and uh, sometimes Dr. Marsh does this in choir too, <laughs> is that it's St. Paul helps you like in your life skills. So every Wednesday we have to dress up in our Wednesday dress and attire and stuff, and some people just enjoy sweatpants and stuff but it's kind of nice to <laughs> it's kind of nice to mm-hmm. get into your church clothes and kind of feel official and then you get some sort of satisfaction from it and it's going to help in the future for me at least knowing when to dress up and maybe when not to dress up and i think that's a life skill that is going to come in handy later in life Uh, Many of us benefited from that life skill when we had to transition (laughs) back to the office after working from home for (laughs) six months to a year. So our real clothes. Yes, moved on from sweats back to professional attire. So valuable life skill. I I I see it. It's true. Daniela, what do you what do you think you'll value from your education when you move on to the next chapter in life? I think I'll I'll benefit from uh, life skills, as Josiah said, but also. For me, it's the Christian faith. Like, it really helped me to grow in my faith. I've been here for five months, and it's just been amazing. And I think I'll, like, uh, use it in my life and the Christian faith. Like, I don't know. It's just really, really, I really grew here. Like, also, like, spiritually and also mentally. And, like, yeah, so that's that. Very cool. Anika, what about you? Well, um, of course... Both of those things are very important, and what happened to me yesterday for the first time in years, actually, uh, was that I cried at church. Mm-hmm. I have not done that in a very long time. It was a happy cry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, spiritual growth is incredibly important. And then for me, it's also sort of like the dorm life. Um, I mean, all the three of us live in the dorm, so it's just kind of learning the interactions and... Also learning a lot of patience (laughs) and not yelling at people for being too loud. (laughs) So it's just a lot of um, attitude growth as well and how you kind of see the world and also a little bit of giving grace sometimes and (laughs) when that's appropriate and when it's not appropriate. (laughs) Very good. Now, Dr. Marsh, what makes St. Paul very unique? And I I mean, just from the three uh, students you have sitting in here, there's a lot of a lot of uh, examples of this. But what makes St. Paul such a unique place? Well, certainly the international aspect is just incredible. And that is something that you just don't find at any Lutheran school, for sure. Um, I enjoy that. Having lived nearly two decades abroad, I came back here and it was a little piece of home for me. (laughs) And of course, it's even more special now that my goddaughter is here in her second year and going to be graduating. (laughs) Um, But, yeah, there's a real sense of family for sure. Um, Some years it's stronger than others. Um, I think that's normal, you know, in any any year. Some years the choir itself is more tight, more cohesive. Um, There's a more sense of a a stronger sense of family um, than other years. Um, It just depends on each kid that's there and and, and where we're able to go. Last year was pretty difficult because of the pandemic. We were very small compared to typical years. This year, we're back up to 50 members, um, and uh, we just got a lot of new new people in. So, yeah, the family sense, the international, and then there's just a strong Christian.
Christian faith that permeates. Um, the kids know. I mean, I start every rehearsal with choir, uh, um, or every choir rehearsal with prayer. Um, we just and we pray for our audiences long before we even perform. We pray that God would work in their hearts um, to to help us to uh, bring that message. We're vessels, right? Um, so anything we do, and I lectured them even this morning downstairs in the chapel. <laughs> I don't care if it's a performance, if it's a service, if it's a rehearsal. Everything you do, you do a hundred percent. That's what God is asking from us, right? And. Um, because he, he he deserves our very very best, so that's a attitude that I think we we see on the ball field. We see it in rehearsals. We see it in drama. We see it in our English classes throughout, um, for sure. So yeah, a lot of these kids have become like adopted kids for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're running short on time, and this is a question that could be a, probably another four-part series. <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> so, the, the, the importance of the arts in Lutheran education today. Why is it important that we continue to have the arts in Lutheran education today? Well, I'll speak for music because that's Thanks. my thing. Um, but I think that the children in Lutheran schools and, and our youth in the high schools learn about theology through music. I make that very, very important. Um, whatever we sing is got to be theologically sound and whatever the music does underscores the text and that's how we learn. And um, But we learn about the beauty of art and sound. I tell the kids that um, you know the more beautiful they sing, the more people see a part of who God is because he's created music. He's created this beauty. Um, and so we can give a piece of that to people. We can share more about about Jesus by, by making beautiful sounds and using the gifts he's given to us. So um, that's just so important. And um, I, yeah, I'll, I'm up for a four-part series if that's what you want. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a lot more to say about that. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> I'm not a nutshell girl. <laughs> We are all out of time, though. Uh, how can we learn more about St. Paul Lutheran High School? You can go to our website at www.splhs.org and go visit us there. We're also on Facebook. Um, I think it's St. Paul Lutheran High School, I believe. And um, you can always talk to a faculty person. You can email me. I'm happy to... <laughs> create contacts and <laughs> connect communities and <laughs> I, I love doing that so you can you can do that and come join us on choir tours be a groupie we've got one coming up and <laughs> stuff like that you can always learn about us absolutely yeah. and we love sharing about uh, the choir tours as well mm-hmm. Josiah Daniela Anika thank you so much for joining us today Dr. Marsh thanks so much for being our guest <laughs> on the coffee hour today thank you thank, thank you pleasure. so much yeah. I'm Andy Bates I'm Sarah Golseth <laughs>